of the goals of this series is to ask and answer the question, how do you see Christ in all the Bible? It's easy to teach Song of Solomon as a marriage manual of how a man and a woman should rightly relate to each other. But how does it point to Christ? I think Song of Solomon is looking back to what marriage was like before the fall, Genesis 1 and 2. It's looking forward to the way marriage should be in light of redemption, Ephesians 5. And when you have that framework, suddenly you've got a really, I think, theologically sound grid to interpret the Song of Songs initially as a uh, a manual for how men and women rightly relate in the context of marriage, but also how it's looking forward to and anticipating Christ and the church.